Hey, I'm Sarah. This is Behind the Design, and I'm sharing my top three favorite design features in each room from Sarah Off the Grid Season 2. This is Behind the Design, and we are talking about my favorite elements in the dining room. I think the most important place to start is the intersection of old house and contemporary design because throughout this entire project, my goal has been to take an original historic house, embrace the best elements of the original details, and then make it feel fresh and contemporary and new and now. This is a challenge so many people face. When you're renovating an old house, the question is always, what do I keep? And what do I replace? Well, this house had a staircase that was in perfect condition. It was some nasty shades of brown, but everything was in great shape. So I decided that paint was the right solution. Same goes for the trim. It did take some work to restore the trim, but maintaining those original baseboards and those original window trims really works. Then what do you do? How do you make it feel contemporary? Well, my view is this is where window coverings come in. So I've juxtaposed historic trim with a very modern graphic geometric pattern. It's fresh, it has this sharp intersection, it's angular, and this gives it exactly the vibe I wanted. So think about how you can marry that old with the new to create the now. That's what you want. Next favorite element, I'm gonna say it's the light fixture because this is an authentic George Nelson bubble lamp. So the George Nelson bubble lamp was designed in 1952. And what I love about this is it is a legit piece of mid-century design. And this giant large size is less than $500. And it gives fabulous impact. Next feature, next favorite element in the dining room. This is a small detail element. And I want you to look beneath this console table. What do you see? What you don't see is an air return. And this is a super clever idea that was introduced to me by our contractor. And instead of dealing with that really ugly grate, you know, you know what an air return grate looks like. We took a thin piece of plywood, we wrapped the wallpaper right around it, and then it's on a standoff. So all the air circulates around and behind it, but what you don't see is the air return. Smart? I love this detail. This is a must repeat. First time I've done this, not gonna be the last time. Okay, let's talk about the clever DIY element, and that is the art that's hanging on the wall. Believe it or not, every single one of these images was taken on my phone, free. Free art, 100% free. Images that I took when I was traveling, around the area where the property is located. I had them printed on watercolor paper at my local printing lab. And then these are all framed in ready-made frames from a local gallery that are inexpensive. They come with a mat. I put them in the frames myself. I hung them on the wall. Let me tell you, hanging a collection this big and ensuring that they're all perfectly straight takes a little time, but it's definitely worth the payoff and that's where the sweat equity comes in and this is what you can do in your own home. Go and use your phone and then you can curate your own gallery. Last thing, the element that makes or breaks this room is the furniture. And when it comes to dining rooms, I want them to be used and I made all of the selections in this dining room based on daily use, practicality and durability. Cause guess what? Yep, I'm a mom and often we have guests and maybe they're messy little people and I wanna make sure that everything is easy to clean up. So the dining chairs are crazy comfortable with this curved back, plus they're covered in vinyl. Vinyl, not leather, vinyl, which I believe they now call vegan leather. So these are fuss-free and worry-free. The table has a sort of rustic finish and it has a soft color. It's not black, it's not gray, it's not brown. It's that perfect in-between, goes with everything shade with a slightly wire-brushed, more rustic texture. What I like about this table is it has an inset pedestal base, and that means you can squeeze extra chairs around it. So that's it. That's my story of the dining room. The furniture is all contemporary. The envelope has traditional style, and then everything comes together to create a look that I think is fresh and new and now. Hope you like it.